Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Lord. Greetings and welcome to the Kingdom Impact Experience. On behalf of Prophet Dr. Terrence Kruger and staff, we would like to say thank you for joining us for today's service. I'd like to ask everyone to ready your hearts, ready your minds. Today is Communion Sunday. We're going to give God some praise. We're going to do that every day, but we're going to give God some praise. Today is Communion Sunday. I don't hear nobody. Why y'all so quiet? <laughs> We're going to give God some praise, give him all the glory and honor that is due to him. And I would also like to note that face masks are um, available at the welcome desk to all who desire to wear one. And I would also like to ask everyone to get ready now as we begin today's service with an accessory prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. We are so grateful and thankful to be here this morning. We are thankful that we are in our right minds, that we are here able to lift our hands, able to walk, able to move, able to breathe. Amen. And we thank and praise God. Let's go ahead and go into prayer. Amen. Lord, we just thank you. As we've already said already, thank you for this day. Thank you for bringing us here. Thank you, God, for waking us up this morning, oh God, because you didn't have to do it, but you did, God, and we are so grateful, God. You've given us another chance, God, to do better. You've given us another chance to make things right. You've given us another chance, God, to, Lord, straighten out anything that needs to be straightened out, God. You've given us another chance, God, to do your will. You've given us another another chance, God, to do what you've asked us to do, what you've called us to do, what you've chosen us to do, oh God. You've given us another chance, God, to just be great, God. And we thank you, God, and we give your name glory and honor and praise because you are so worthy, God. We worship your name, oh God. We glorify you, oh God. We thank you, God, for your presence already being in this place, oh God. We thank you for the prayers that has already went forth for this day, oh God. We thank you, God, because it has changed, God, the atmosphere in this place, oh God. And we thank you, oh God. We thank you for your presence, God. We thank you for your glory, God. We thank you for your anointing, God. Lord, if it wasn't for you, God, we wouldn't be here, oh God. And we are so thankful, oh God. We, Lord, we are pulling on you today, oh God. We're pulling on you, God, to give us, God, what we need today, God. What we need desire today, oh God, and what we desire, God, is to be closer to you, oh God. We want more of you, God, more of you, God, more of your heart, God, more of your spirit, God. We want to walk like you, God. We want to talk like you. We want to move like you. Let everything that comes out of our mouths, God, be, Lord, you, oh God, and we thank you. We give you all glory, God. Hallelujah. We say hallelujah, God. That is our response to you today, God. Our response is hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you. We thank you for being ever present in our lives, oh God. We're pulling on you. We're pulling on you, oh God. We're pulling on you, oh God. We're pulling on you, oh God. Where we are weak, oh God, you are strong, God. Where we are weak, oh God, you are strong, God. Hallelujah, God. Some of us, God, don't even know what we're going to do, God, from day to day, oh God. But because you guide us, God, because we follow you, oh God, we are thankful, God, because you lead us. You guide us, God. You provide for us, oh God. You protect us, oh God. And we thank you. We thank you for being ever present. We thank you, God. We thank you for your glory, God. We thank you for your glory. We thank you, God, again, for already being here, oh God. We ask you to be here even more, God. Lord, walk up and down these aisles, God. Sit next to us, oh God. Be with us, God. Not just sit next to us, God. Lord, sit in us, oh God. And let your spirit, God, arise in us, oh God. Let you arise, God, and let our enemies be scattered, God. Lord, anything that has been spoken, God, against us, God, or to us, oh God, 
oh God, we don't receive it, oh God. We cast it back to the pits of hell and we send it back now in the name of Jesus, God, because we believe in you, oh God. You fight for us, oh God. You battle for us, oh God. You are our strength, God. You are our vindicator, oh God. You do, God, what needs to be done, God, and we thank you, God. We thank you, God, for being a hedge of protection around us, oh God. Lord, you guide us, oh God, and we thank you. We thank you, oh God. Hallelujah, God. We thank you, oh God. We thank you, oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Can we just worship him? Clap our hands, open our mouths. Let him know how much we thank him. Let him know how much we praise him. Let him know how much we just deserve. We Sometimes we don't even deserve the things, God, that you give us, God. The things that you do for us, oh God. We don't deserve it, God, but because you are gracious, God, you still give it to us because you are a gracious God you still bestow your grace and mercy upon us oh God and because you love us oh God there is nothing you wouldn't do for us oh God and we thank you we thank you for your love we thank you for your power we thank you for your grace oh God hallelujah God hallelujah God hallelujah God we thank you Jesus we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. You are so worthy. You are so worthy. We thank you for your spirit that is already here, oh God. We thank you for touching the hearts of your people, oh God. We thank you for touching the minds of your people, oh God. Hallelujah, God. There is none like you. There is none like you, oh God. There is none like you, oh God. We wouldn't serve another. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we worship you. We honor you, oh God. Lord, as the word come forth today, we ask, God, that you be in the midst, oh God. You, God, give us, God, what we need, God. Open our ears and our heart, God, and our mind, God, to hear, God, to receive, God, to download everything that you have for us, oh God. And we thank you and we praise you because you're worthy, God. There is none, there is none, there is none like you, oh God. We thank you for your shield, God, hovering over this place. Place, oh God. We thank you for the people that are here already, oh God. We thank you for the people that you are sending, oh God. Lord, you're going to send God workers, God. You're going to send help, oh God. You're going to send people, God, who have the heart and the desire, God, to be here. The heart and the desire, God, to serve and worship you, God. You're going to send people that have a heart of a servant, a servanthood, God, a servant's heart, God, and we thank you, God. Their only heart and desire God will be God to please you God to worship you God to glorify you oh God and we thank you because you've already sent them God they're on their way oh God they're on their way oh God they're on their way oh God you will fill this place God from top to bottom God every seat will be refilled God we thank you God there will be overflow in this place oh God overflow God of worshipers overflow oh God of ministers God teachers God preachers God whoever you have to sin in this place God we Lord we receive them now and we thank you we thank you for your help God we thank you for your help God we thank you for your help God help God that will be here to help God prophet Kruger God as he leads us oh God help God that he will pull things off of his shoulder so it wouldn't be so heavy oh God on him God people God that would take the heart in the initiative to step forward and do what needs to be done, oh God. And we thank you, oh God. We thank you because it is so, oh God. And so it is, God. It is well. It is well in this place. It is well in this place, oh God. It is well, oh God, in our hearts, God. It is well, oh God, in our minds, oh God. It is well in this place, oh God. It is well, God, wherever we go, God. Whatever we do, oh God. Whatever we say, oh God. It is well. 
it is well. It is well with my soul. Hallelujah, God. Lord, we're waiting on you, oh God. We're waiting on you, oh God. We're waiting on you, God. Whatever you want to do, God, we're here to receive it. We're here, God, to welcome it, God. Our arms are open, God, to receive. Our hearts are open to receive, God. We already know that your arms are open to receive us, oh God. But our arms and our hearts are open, God, to receive you, O oh God. And we thank you. And we thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Can we lift our voices and worship him? Can we lift our voices and give him praise? Can we lift our voices and let him know how much we love him, how much we adore him, how much we, we just want to be in your presence, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. We give you glory, God. 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 Hallelujah. We give you glory, God. We give you glory, God. Shift this place today, God. Hallelujah, God. Send your power in this place, oh God. Hallelujah. Shift the atmosphere in this place, oh God. Whoever and whatever needs to be shifted God shift 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 God hallelujah we thank you God we thank you for your shift God you're shifting us God to new dimensions oh God you're shifting us God to a new level of worship and praise in you oh God you're shifting us God to new hearts God new desires God. Everything, God, that you have for us, you are shifting, God. You are shifting, 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 oh God. Shifting, 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 oh God. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. There is glory in this place, oh God. Let your cloud continue to move, God. Let your cloud continue to rest, oh God. Let your cloud continue to be in this place. Continue to let it hover over us, God. Continue to let it move on us, oh God. Hallelujah, God. We give your name glory, Jesus. Hallelujah. We give your name glory, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you, oh God. We say thank you. 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 There is none like you, oh God. There is none like you in all the earth, oh God. We wouldn't serve another like you. We wouldn't serve anybody else but you, God. There's nobody else that's more powerful. There's nobody else that's more gracious than you, oh God. We thank you, God, for the mind and the heart of patience, God, to work with us, oh God, to wait with us, oh God. We thank you, God. Sometimes, God, we're not the easiest people to work with, God. Sometimes we're not the easiest people, oh God, to do things for, oh God. But we thank you because of your heart, because of the love that you have for us, oh God that you wait on us. You wait on us, God. Hallelujah. You wait on us, oh God. Hallelujah. We thank you for waiting. Yes, Jesus. We thank you for waiting, Jesus. And we will wait in your presence. We will wait in your presence, Jesus. Yes, God. You reign on us, God. You reign on us, oh God. You reign on us. Let your rain, God, fall in this place, God. Let your rain fall in this place, oh God. Let it be so, 
powerful and your anointing and your rain so powerful in this place that we can literally feel your rain dropping in this place like the dew in the morning oh god rest upon us rest upon our hearts rest upon our minds rest upon our spirits oh god and we thank you god we thank you because you're already here we thank you because you're already here we thank you because you're already here. We thank you because you're already here. Hallelujah, God. We thank you because you're already here. Yes, Lord, you're already here. Thank you, Jesus. You were already here. You were already here. You were already here. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Let's put our hands together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Can we give him praise one more time? Just give him the praise, a mighty praise, a big praise. Lord, open our, our mouths. Open your mouths to just praise him. Let him hear you. Let him hear your voice. Let him hear from your spirit. Let him hear from your soul. He wants to hear from you. He wants to hear your voice today. Hallelujah, Jesus. And we thank you, God. We give you glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. This is going to be a great day. This is going to be a wonderful day. This is going to be a great service. This is going to be a wonderful service because we believe and we know that there's a word from God today and we're ready to receive. We are ready to receive. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, God, we're going to get ready for our praise and worship today. And while we're getting ready, continue to keep the heart of praise. Continue to clap your hands and open your mouths and praise him because it's due him. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody lift your voice and give him praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, come on, come Thank on. Let's you, give Jesus. it to him. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God. We glory. Glory to God. We thank you. Come on, raise your voices in this place. Come on, raise your praise. Hallelujah. Great and mighty is the Lord our God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. There's nobody like him. There's nobody greater. He's a keeper. He's a deliverer. He's a redeemer. He's a restorer. Hallelujah, Jesus. Father, we bless you. We glorify you for who you are and what you've done. Hallelujah. We thank you for what you're going to do. Hallelujah. Even before we see it, we thank you for the healings. We thank you for the deliverance. We thank you for the miracles. We thank you for the signs and wonders Hallelujah. that you will bring into our lives, Father. We bless you for it now. Hallelujah, Hallelujah Jesus. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Jesus. And anybody with expectation today, just give them a great shout of praise right there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. God is so good. Hallelujah. It is good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Hallelujah, Jesus. Bless your wonderful name, God. I'm excited about what the Lord is doing and what he's going to do. Hallelujah, Jesus. Surprise me today, God. Surprise me. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I just want to be in his presence. Hallelujah. I just want to experience the greatness of the Lord. Hallelujah. I want you to move around this room and I want you to greet five people. Let them know it's good to see you in the place where God is. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on, clap your hands right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody clap your hands. Hey, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. The song says, I am your son. You are 
of my father. Oh, how you love to love me. Oh, you are my source. There is none other. Tell you I love you. I just really wanna tell you I Come love on, you. Say, I just really wanna tell you I need you. I just really wanna tell Everybody you I need you. Everybody clap your hands. Come on, somebody lift your voice in this place. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. This next part says, When I'm in need, you're my provider. Oh, how you. Love me, oh, when I am sick, you are, you are my healer, oh, how you love to love me, take my life, yes, it is, in your head, you've given me, yeah. another chance, yes, to prove my love. Say, I just really want to tell you I love you. Say, I just really want to tell you I love you. Hey, I just really want to tell you I need you. Say, I just really want to tell you I need you. Say, I just really want to tell you I love you. I just really want to tell you I love you. I just really want to tell you I need you. Come on, sing that again. Hey, I just really want to tell you I love you. I just really want to tell you I love you. I just really want to tell you I need you. I just really want to tell you I need you. Everybody clap your hands. Hey. Glory to your name, oh God. We bless you, Lord. Yes, Lord. For we declare that you are my joy. You are my peace. You are my strength. You're my everything. You Joy, you are my peace, you are my strength. Say you're my everything. You're my everything. Say you are my joy, peace. You are my peace. Say strength. You are my strength. Come on, you're my everything. You're my everything. Say you are my joy. You are my peace. You are my strength. Say you're my everything. You're my Come on, clap everything. your hands. Anybody believe that he's your strength? Anybody believe that he's your joy? Anybody believe he's your peace? He's my everything. Tell somebody he's my everything. Tell somebody else he's my everything. Yes, 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 you are. Hey, yes, 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 you are. Come on, say, yes, 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 you are. Yes, 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 you are. Everybody say, yes, 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 you are. Oh, yes, 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 you are. Come on, say, yes, 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 you are. Come on, come on, yes, 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 you are. Hey, say, my joy, my joy, my peace, my peace, my joy, my joy, my peace, my peace, my joy, my joy. My joy. My joy. My peace, my peace, my strength, my strength, my strength. Say my joy, my joy, my peace, my peace, my joy, my joy, my peace, my peace, my joy, my joy, my peace, my peace, my strength, my strength, my strength, my strength. Say my joy, 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 my joy,
You're my everything. You're my everything. You are my joy. You're my everything. You are my peace. You're my everything. You are my. You're my everything. You're my everything. You're my Come on, clap your hands. Come on, somebody shout to the Lord in this place. If you know that He's your everything. Say you are, you are my everything. My everything. 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 You are, 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 you are. Say yeah, yeah. My everything. My everything. Yeah, yeah. My everything. My everything. Everything. My everything, yeah, yeah. My, everything. my everything, come on, clap, clap, clap your hands. Yeah. Say my everything. My everything. My everything. my everything, my everything, my everything, my everything, my everything, I can search my everything. and still find, my you're my everything, my everything, my everything. no one, my everything. and nothing, my can't compare my everything. to you. My everything. You are, you are my everything. My everything. You are, you are my everything. My everything. Joy, joy in time of sorrow. Yeah. Joy my everything. in time of sorrow. You are, you are my peace. My peace. You are, you are my joy. My joy. You are, you are my strength. My strength. My strength. My strength. My strength. My strength. When I'm weak. My my strength, my strength, when I'm low, my strength, my strength, my strength, you carry me, my strength, my strength, my strength, through the storm, my strength, my strength, my strength, yeah, my strength, yeah, my strength, yeah, my strength, yeah, my strength, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, I declare it, my everything, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, my everything, my everything, my everything, my everything, my everything. Tell your neighbor, my everything, my everything, my everything. yes he is, my everything, my everything, my everything. yes he is, my everything, my everything. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 my everything, my everything, my everything, my everything, my everything. One more time, say yeah, 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 Come on, clap your hands right here. Come on, clap, clap, clap your hands. Yes, Lord. Oh, you are my everything, yeah. Come on, somebody give him a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. You are my everything, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. When I can't see my way, you are my direction. Hallelujah. When the devil comes to try to disrupt my peace, you are my peace. You are my joy. You are my strength. Hallelujah. When I feel like I can't make it another step, hallelujah, he is my strength. Glory to God. Testify to somebody and say, he is my strength. Glory to God. He is my joy. Hallelujah. He is my peace. He is my Thank you, Jesus. Father, we bless you. We glorify you. Thank you, Lord. We declare you are an amazing God. Come on, just lift your hands right here and just begin to love on the Lord and just open your mouth and with the fruit of your lips, begin to give him something wonderful. Tell him how much you love him. Come on, I can't hear you. Come on, open your mouth and talk to him. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, O Lord. Almighty God, there is none like you. Come on, lift your voice, say, yeah. Worship you, Almighty God. Come on, say, there is none, there is none like you. Come on, declare it again. I worship you, O Prince of Peace. Say that is, that is. 
It's what I long to do. I give you praise for you are, for you are my righteousness. Oh, I worship, I worship. declare that again. I worship, I worship you. That is what I long. That is what I long to do. I give you praise. For you are, for you are my righteousness. Oh, Lord, I worship. Touch my heart like you do, and I can search for all eternity long and find there is none like you. Come on, declare that with me. Say, There is none, there is none. Come on, say no one, no one else can touch my heart like you do. I can search, I can search for all eternity, Lord, and find there is none like you. Come on, everybody, declare that today. Say there is none. There is none like you. Say no one else can. No one else can touch my heart like you do. And I can search. I can search for all eternity, Lord. Declare that one more time. There is none, there is none like you. Say no one else can touch my heart. No one else can touch my heart like you do. Say I can search, I can search for all the time. Say there is none. There is none. Say there is none. There is none. Come on, declare it to the Lord today. There is none. Say there is none. There is none. We lift our voice to you, O oh Lord. There is none. And we say there is none. There is none. We can search all over and still find. Say there is none, there is none, there's nobody like you, Jesus, there is none, there's nobody like Jehovah, there is none, no, 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 there is none, they say nobody, 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 say no. Nobody, nobody, 
Worship him right there. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. 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 Nobody like the Lord. 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 No, nobody like the Lord. Nobody like the Lord. Nobody like the Lord. Nobody like the Lord. One more time. Nobody like the Lord. Nobody like the Lord. Nobody like the Lord. Nobody like the Lord. No, nobody like the Lord. Yeah. Nobody like the Lord. Nobody like him. Nobody like him. Now come on, lift your voices and worship him. All over this room, come on. Come on, honor the Lord. Honor him for who he is and what he's already done. He's a great God. He's a powerful God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There is none like Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, 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 come on, everybody, say, oh. and give him a praise right there. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Glory to God. We love you, Father. We love you, Father. We love you, Father. Come on, is there a continuous praise in this place? Hallelujah. Just because the the music stops does not mean your worship stops. Glory to God, because I will bless him at all times. And his praises shall continually be in my mouth, as his word has declared. Hallelujah. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, his name is still worthy. Hallelujah. To be praised. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Clap your hands and give him a great praise right there hallelujah Jesus come on you can do better than that come on whenever it comes to praising him don't give him less give him the best glory to God glory to God we thank you Jesus hallelujah we bless the name of the Lord hallelujah and as you make your way to your seat just look at somebody and say God's gonna do something for me today hallelujah Jesus Good afternoon. I'm sorry. Good afternoon. It's a good day here at the Kingdom Impact Experience. It is our prayer that your experience today be edifying, uplifting, and life-changing. We invite you to join us every Sunday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time at 2730 Northwest 39th Avenue in Gainesville, Florida. 
And for those who are unable to join us for our in-house experience, feel free to join us on Zoom. The Zoom ID is 476-023-6983. Again, that's 476-023-6983. Are you looking for a cutting edge Bible study, a special midweek empowerment? If so, don't miss our bi-weekly dive-in sessions with Dr. Terrence Kruger. Experience relevant teachings, real talk, and solutions for everyday life on the first and third Thursday of each month at 7 p.m. Dive-in is available both in-house and on Zoom. We hope to see you there. Don't forget to join us every every day at 6.30 for our 40 days of prayer with Sister Sakar Carmichael on Zoom. We look forward to seeing you this evening and throughout the rest of the week. Happy birthday to all who were born in the month of October. It is our prayer that your time of celebration be one of much love, joy, peace, and favor. May the blessings of the Lord make rich and add no sorrow. Halloween, nor the devil, has any power over, th over the power of Christ. For, them, for, sorry, for whom the Son set free is free indeed. Come join us for a night of power, prophecy, and spiritual impartation at the Prophetic Outpour on Tuesday, October 31st at 7 p.m. with Prophet Dr. Terrence Kruger. This year's prophetic team will feature Sister Sarkar Carmichael of Leesburg, Florida, Elder Janice Brown of Gainesville, Florida, and Brother James Wilson of Pensacola, Florida. This night of power will take place right here at 2730 Northwest 39th Avenue in Gainesville, Florida, and will also be available on Zoom. So invite your, neighborhood, so invite your neighbors, family, and friends, and let's come together and experience an outpour from the Lord. It's almost that time again, so mark your calendars and get ready for a, night, uh, for a radical night of celebration. Join us on Sunday, December 31st at 10 p.m. for our New Year's Eve celebration, which will be held right here at our in-house location. This event will feature family, entertainment, musical presentations, a special production, and the release of the prophetic word for 2024. We invite you to dress down, but please dress appropriately as we enter the new year with praise to our God for all that he has done in 2023. Seating is limited, so arrive early and claim your seat. Be on the lookout because more details are to come. So make plans to attend and get ready for the party of the year. Attention all ministry staff, please be reminded that this Tuesday at 7 p.m. will be our monthly staff meeting on Zoom. Please arrive early to be on time. To receive updates regarding the ministry and its upcoming events, please visit our website and subscribe to our emailing list at www.terrencedkruger.com. Again, that's www.terrencedkruger.com. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at TDCM International. That's TDCM International. And don't forget to like, comment, and share. For the safety of all guests, please note that if you are sick, COVID positive, or, ex or exposed to someone who lives with you that has COVID or any other contagious virus during the time of our scheduled in-house services and events, we ask that you would please refrain from attending the in-house locations until you are well and have received a negative result. Thank you in advance for your cooperation in this matter. This concludes our announcements for today. Be blessed and have a prosperous week. Amen. Thank you for those announcements, Sister Brooklyn. Amen. Now we are getting ready for the part of the service that we've all come for, to hear the word of God, to hear what he has deposited into Prophet Kruger for us, um, to feed us to, so we can eat and enjoy the word of God. And we are so thankful and we are ready for this word today. Amen. Amen. How many of y'all ready for the word today? Amen. 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 We are ready. Whether the word comes to send confirmation, to prick us, to make us mad, or 
make us think that we need to change things or there's some things we need to work on. That's what the word is for today. The word is to send correction and to send what we need to make us better. Amen. Amen. We're just ready to receive the word. Amen. Amen. And while we're waiting to receive the word, we're just going to sing a little bit, okay? Y'all know I love singing, so, you know, singing going to always come to mind. <laughs> this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Oh, this is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, this is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Can we say it one more time? This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now we're going to get ready for our word today from our very own prophet, Dr. Terrence Kruger. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Y'all sound like y'all done fell asleep already. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God is so good. Let's stand to our feet real quick. And I know we've gone through praise and worship, but every chance we get, we should praise the Lord. We should honor and worship him and adore him. So right there, just give God a great praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. You've been better to me than I've been to myself. Hallelujah. When I wanted to give up on myself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You never gave up on me. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. In spite of the circumstance, I thank him for breathing life. Hallelujah. I thank him for life. Thank him for life. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Look to somebody and say, neighbor. Oh, y'all sound like y'all whispering this afternoon. Glory to God. Is anybody alive today? Hallelujah. Oh, one person, everybody dead? We need to come around the room and raise people. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. I say, is anybody alive today? Yes. Hallelujah. And doing good and glad to be alive. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Life might not be perfect, but God is still good. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. So, and I'm glad to be alive today. Hallelujah. I'm glad to be able to uh, come forth before God's people today. Father, we thank you so much for your word. And Father, as we get ready to dive in today, Father, I want you to be glorified as your people are edified. And the devil, as my old pastor's wife used to say, shall stay terrified. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You may be seated. 
Glory to God. Thank God for every staff member, every person in your respectful places. Thank God for our online um, virtual management team. Praise the Lord. We thank God for every person that is online joining us on today. Hallelujah. I thank God for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. One day, hopefully, we'll be able to see each and every one of you in person. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. God is a good God. Hallelujah. We thank God for Sister Donette. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Brother Matthew. Hallelujah. And there, there, is this your son? And her son, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. It is good to see them. Hallelujah. We have not forgotten you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But we believe God to do great and mighty things. Look to your neighbor and prophesy great things are coming. Great things are happening for you. Hallelujah. Now, I want you to tell them this time, hallelujah, like you, you're really trying to convince them not to jump off the bridge and that God's getting ready to turn things around for them and tell them great things are happening for you. Great happening for you. Hallelujah, Jesus. I believe that. <laughs> Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus, because one thing about it is oftentimes before you see um, things happening, you will see the prophecy proceed prior to the manifestation. Glory to God. And so sometimes whenever you get opportunities to prophesy a thing, the reason why a lot of people don't see the prophetic um, words that they declare over their life come to pass is because you don't believe it. Hallelujah. I need y'all to talk back to me today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because many people don't believe what they declare. Glory to God. It sounds good in the moment. We hype in the moment. But the moment we have to go through a test that looks like it's the opposite, we've dropped our faith. We forgot that God told us something and we forgot we looking and expecting for something. And glory to God. And like we talked about a few weeks ago, you know, just because you see a different scene, a, a, a change of scenery does not mean that your purpose is not still on the other side. Glory to God. So we have to understand that prophecy is just proceeding what you are getting, what you're going to. It's just there to tell you where you're headed. Glory to God. But you got to understand there's a journey to get there. Tell your neighbor there's a journey to get there. Glory to God. Now, that's not necessarily what I'm talking about today, but it kind of works with what I'm going to do. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want you to look to your neighbor and say, get ready. Get, ready. get, set. get set. Go. Go. Look to somebody else and say, get ready. Get set, Get set. Go. go. Hallelujah. Now, what's so amazing is this morning, my schedule got a little thrown off, and um, I was uh, trying to get something situated with transportation. And so in the midst of this, I was coming back home, and I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, Lord, I need you to speak to me because I don't know what you want me to say to these people. Glory to God on today. And I begin to uh, 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 come up to a red light, and um, I wasn't even paying the red light any mind. And the Lord began to speak to me, hallelujah, though my head was turned to the left, he began to speak to me about what was in front of me. And so, and I begin to, I begin to listen to God and I say, you know what? It's amazing that sometimes God will throw things off of your norm and make things go in a way that you feel like it's chaotic or it's not going the way that you would expect for it to go just to tell you something, just to give you direction for your path. Hallelujah. It might look, tell your neighbor, it might look messy right now. It might look a little crazy, but it'll make sense after a while. Glory to God. And while I was at the red light, the Lord began to deal with me about it. Now, one thing about um, the red light is um, throughout most cities and states, um, you will generally always find um, the popular traffic light. Popular traffic signal, also known as a traffic light. Now, the purpose of the traffic light is to direct the flow of traffic. Somebody say direct the flow of traffic. Um, instructing each direction on when to stop, when to yield, and when to make a move. Now, with this being said, traffic signals generally function on a set. This is, bless me, uh, Sister April. It generally uh, uh, functions on a set time cycle. Now, one thing about it is these time cycles are usually consistent. Oh, Lord. Somebody tell your neighbor consistency matters. So it generally uh, functions on a, uh, a usual, with a usual consistency, whether or not there is traffic in another direction or not. Now, watch this, Sister uh, Brooklyn. It was so 
intriguing to me the way God began to speak about the traffic light that I wasn't even looking at. Glory to God. Because, however, even though the traffic light generally functions on a time cycle, there are times that the traffic light functions um, out of what is called a um, actuated traffic signal. Actuated traffic signal. This is when the traffic light detects that there is more or backed up traffic in one direction than another and begins to watch this prioritize. It begins to prioritize and adjust the time frame in which the flow of traffic in a particular direction can proceed. Now, with this being said, one of the amazing things about the traffic light is that whenever, whether you are ready or not, it's timing, oh Lord, Jesus. Somebody say, it waits on no one. You can sit there if you want to, and that light turn, uh, turn green, or you just sitting there all in your phone or whatever you want to do. And as soon as that light say your time up, it's going to go red again, and you're going to be sitting there again. Glory to God. I'm, I'm going somewhere. I want you to go with me to one of the famous scriptures that has seemed to be circulating through this house for the last several weeks or the last month. I want you to go over to Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. Glory to God. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. Bless your name, God. If you have it, say amen. Glory to God. It says, to everything, there is a what? And a what? Time. To what? Every purpose. Every purpose where? Now, let's try that again and read it together. To everything, there is a what? Season. Okay. And a what? Time. To what? Uh-huh, where? Under the to everything there is a season and there is a time to every purpose under the heaven. Now, this word season in the Hebrew um, is said to mean an appointed, preordained, or assigned occasion. A preordained, assigned occasion or appointed occasion, which deals with a specific happening, event, or opportunity. Somebody say opportunity. Glory to God. Y'all sound like y'all sleep. Come on, say opportunity. opportunity. There you go. Now keep that energy. Praise the Lord. The word purpose in verse 1 means something that is considered to be of value. Something that is considered to be of value. Well, what do you mean of value? It means pleasure, desire, or acceptable. What is acceptable, watch this, and that which we are willing to do. That which we are willing to do. Now, with this being said, and I promise you, I'm going to say it today. I don't plan to be before you long. Glory to God. Now, I just come to tell you what he said. Amen. So watch this. With this being said, there are many times in life that we express a readiness, oh Lord, for many things. But the true question is, are you even ready at all for what you desire? How many of us have heard, oh, I'm ready for my husband. Oh, I'm ready for my wife. Oh, I'm ready to get this new vehicle. I'm ready for this new house. I'm ready for all these wonderful things. I'm, I'm ready to go on vacation. I'm ready, you know, to, uh, to, to get these millions. But what are you doing to get ready for it? Everybody wants something. But what you doing to get it? You can sit there all day and say, oh, I'm going to be in the pro league. Okay, what you doing to get there? Because it's not just going to drop out the sky. Just a random person come to you and say, you know what, we want to draft you in. Come on. And you ain't, you ain't on nobody football team, basketball team, or nothing else. But you expect something to supernaturally happen. And watch this. You have not prepared yourself. You have not been on the court practicing. You have not submitted yourself to a team so that you can be coached. Because guess what? You don't know every move to make. 
you don't know every play that there is. <clears throat> you know, it's amazing how you can have a, 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 a ball player um, that will come and submit themselves under a coach. And, and because the, the player only knows their skill, their ability, oftentimes what will happen is they will start to uh, uh, try to show off and show what they can do. And guess what? Even though you might, you might be shooting the ball in the basket back to back to back, your coach now looks at you and says, you're selfish. You are not a team player. And you're looking crazy trying to figure out, what are you talking about? I just won the game. But you didn't do teamwork. You, 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 you didn't show good quality skills. So now I need you to work on this. Because the game is not about you. It's about everybody. So what happens is now I start learning certain things about myself. And things that I need to start working on and changing so that I can become a better player. Because guess what? They're not going to call me to a pro team if I, can, if I can't master down here in a minor team. You, you're not going to be drafted just because you're good and got good skill, but you don't know how to do teamwork. You, can, you can't even work together with somebody without catching an attitude. You're always causing problems. Oh, Lord. Always causing problems, but you expect that doors are just going to come flying up. Don't nobody want to work with your nasty attitude? Don't, don't, I don't. I don't want to work with you. Go sit in the back until you get that together. Hello. So, so you got to understand that with everything that you desire to pursue, for every purpose, every dream, every goal, every vision that you have set before you, it takes preparation. And if you can't get ready, don't look for nothing to happen. Well, I wanna, I wanna be married so bad. Oh, you do? I done been working on myself. No, you know, I'm gonna tell you what the problem is, uh, Sister Donna. I'm gonna really go here. Praise the Lord. You know what a lot of people think is my flaws and my issues will get fixed once I get in a relationship. I'll get the healing that I need from uh, when Reggie mistreated me uh, when I get with, 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 with Bobby. No, 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 no. Because now what happens is Bobby got to deal with what you didn't deal with. And Bobby is not your daddy, even though you want to call him that. <laughs> Hello. He, he, he ain't your daddy. You know, and sometimes, you know, and I know people do that in relationships because they feel like that's cute. But, but, but why are you calling your man your daddy? <laughs> Look how perverted that is. But where did, it, where did it originate? In the world. But look at us church folks. We, we love because it's something that turned us on. Oh, Lord. Jesus. So, so now here it is. You, you, you want this relationship so bad. And you want your daddy or zaddy or whatever you want to call them. Uh oh, I'm walking down somebody aisle. Okay. Clean up on aisle four. Thank you, Jesus. You know, you, 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 you got all this going on, but you a mess. Watch this. But I'm a good person. I don't, I don't fight nobody. I don't hurt nobody. I don't do nothing to nobody, Sister, Sister April. But watch this. You still insecure. Oh, Lord. Jesus. I'm going to walk to this side of the room, Brandon. You know, they still insecure. They still battling with, I don't know if you're going to cheat on me. Well, what you with somebody for then? If you're going to still be wondering if somebody's going to cheat on you, leave them alone. That's headache that I don't want to deal with. Lord Jesus, you're aggravating. If that's you, I'm telling you to your face or to your ear, you are aggravating. And they want to wonder why your relationships ain't working. Because you're bringing all them problems. <clears throat> now, I'm not saying you're going to be perfect when you get with somebody. No, I ain't making a message about relationship. This is just, I'm just making a quick stop. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, thank you. So, 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 but the truth of the matter is, you're not going to be perfect, but you don't wait for somebody else to clean up your mess. Clean up your own mess. Clean up your own attitude. I'm looking for somebody to make me a better person. Why do you need somebody to make you a better person? God told, God told Adam, I'm going to send you a help me. In other words, I'm going to send you somebody to help, not necessarily to develop you. 
but to assist you in doing life. In other words, so that as you're pursuing success, she's going to pursue it right with you. As, as, as you're doing a work, she's going to be doing a work to make sure that the household works. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. So, 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 and vice versa. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Now, no woman should not be looking for no man. Oh, Lord Jesus. No woman should not be looking for a man. If you're looking for a man, you are out of order. Hello. Now, I ain't say that, you know, if you, in, oh, look, I got to be careful with that now. If you're interested, ain't nothing wrong with you expressing yourself. However, you need to be careful with that too. Because sometimes, if he ain't making a move to throw himself at you, and you the first one to throw yourself at them, something wrong with that, because now you look vulnerable. Because now they feel, oh, they done told me everything. Now, now I can just move in and do whatever I want to. And because I already know their heart, all I got to do is manipulate them to get what I want out of them. And when I'm done, I throw them to the side. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. So, you know, we want these relationships so bad. But, uh oh, Ooh, Jesus, can I, can I go there? But you ain't even mastered when you go to the store not looking raggedy. I don't want no woman that look dirty. Because when you go out the house, you got to represent me. I don't care if it's not the best outfit. You need to be decent. I don't want your cheeks falling out the bag. You do that in the bedroom. Oh, okay. Let me, let me bring it in. Thank you, G. I'm just being real. Because, you know, why you need to be sexy for the public? I'm being sexy for my man. No, 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 you're not. Because anytime you go out in the public and you're trying to look sexy for your man, you don't just look sexy for him, you look sexy for everybody. Every person that can see you, that is who you entertain. Oh, Lord Jesus. I'm trying to show off my shape. We know you is, because that's why every time you take a picture, you're looking back. <laughs> oh, glory. You ain't ready. You ain't ready. Because guess what? That man's going to perceive you as you are, you have whorish tendencies or you have hooker type ways. So therefore, you know, you want to dress yourself no different than the world, but you want a good man. Y'all better be careful around here talking about something. I want a thug. Okay. They could be a thug in the church too and still jack you up. Hello. Glory to God. Ooh, I just want a hardcore man. Okay. And then when he goes slap you upside your head, then what? I ain't saying you got to get somebody that's weak. But you better know what you're asking for because what you're asking for comes with baggage. It comes with his own responsibility. It comes with, watch this, his own manual. But the, oh, Lord Jesus, why am I here? But the only problem is, Sister April, people don't read the manual. Because I'm so rushed to deal with the product. That's why when you get too deep into a relationship, now you all stuck. And they can cheat on you. They can abuse you. They can abuse you verbally or physically or whatever else. Watch this. They can lie to your face. And you'll still keep accepting them. Why? Because you done got so far in. And you was too stubborn to read the manual. I want to get to know you. I want to know who you are in and out. Because cause this little interview period where you're trying to put on your best outfit and trying to say your best words and you opening the door for me and all this kind of stuff, I need to see how long this going to last. Glory to God. Because if they started that when, they, when you started dating or when you started talking, they got to keep it up. Because if a year and two years gone by and they still ain't opening that door, okay, don't start nothing that you can't finish. Glory to, glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Vice versa. Amen. Hallelujah. Because ladies, y'all be trying to put too much pressure on the men and forget about yourself. Oh, see how quiet it is. <laughs> you know, try, you forget. It's always the men. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. But then vice versa, you know, men say the same thing. Glory to God. You know why you say that? Because you're the opposite gender. 
and you only understand your own kind. But you base every, I ain't no good men. You know why I ain't no good men? Because you've exposed yourself only to bad ones. Which shows you there's a problem with you. Something's in you that keep drawing you to what is not right. So don't, don't go put no title on everybody. Oh, you always, uh-uh, uh-uh, I can't, uh-uh, all of them bad. Now nah, all these girls, all these girls hoes, oh, no, 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 they're not. Oh, you got, ain't nothing but freaks in the church. I, I'm, I'm coming there, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hello. And that's why, you know what, you'll start all of a sudden seeing the men coming in the church because now I'm looking to see which catch I can catch. You better say so. Don't let me identify. Hello. We either cast the devil out or cast you out. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Messing over nobody in here. But if I come to you and I tell you, leave him alone and you still messing with him, we're going to watch and see what happens. Hello, because I can't force you to do nothing now. Thank you, Jesus. You know, but I love him. Okay, keep on. Keep on loving him and see what love gets you. Thank you, Jesus. And see if you're still saying love five months from now. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. You can't catch a hint. The prophet trying to tell you, um, 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 <laughs> and you ain't caught it. Be like, <laughs> you like a prophet, um, praise the Lord. You still ain't caught the hint. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Glory to God. So, so you just, you just got to, and, and this is not just concerning relationships. It's concerning every area of your life. That was just one avenue I went down. We ain't going to spend all day trying to find every single avenue, but find your issues and deal with it. But watch this. Don't, oh, Lord Jesus. You know what some of y'all issue is? You can have better right in front of you, but you let your past keep you from pursuing. You let that thing distract you so much that you feel like, I'm not worthy for this. I, I don't deserve this. So if it's in front of you, why are you still telling yourself you don't deserve it? If it's in front of you, that means you got close. You got close enough to what was meant. So why are you still rejecting? Now, come out of the mind of relationships. I ain't just talking about that now. I'm talking about everything. Thank you, Jesus. Why are you still rejecting your future for the sake of your past? Your past Oh, Lord. Your past ain't worth nothing but a testimony. Because you can't change it. You can't do nothing about it. You know, I don't care if you got to deal with the consequences of it. Okay. Just deal with the consequences and keep moving. I can't do it, Lord. Uh-uh. I don't understand why God would even use me. Why would God even choose me? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Stop all of that. Stop all of that. Glory to God. Because guess what? One thing about me, Sister Brooklyn, is I'm only going to pacify you but so long before I tell you, come out of that. And if you don't listen that time, don't talk to me no more about that situation. And then you think I'm mean. No, you just aggravating at this point because you're doing what you want to do. Why would you come to somebody, Sister London, for advice and for wisdom when you're going to keep on doing what you want to do? That's a waste of my time. That is a waste. Lord Jesus, exactly. Your mind is already made up. What you asking for? Right. <laughs> Come on. You want somebody to be a barber, a barber head, agreeing with everything you got to say. Thank you, Jesus. Well, you, if you want a barber head, don't come over here. Glory to God. Because guess what? At the beginning stages, when I see you all sensitive <laughs> and doing all of that, I'd be like, yeah, I, I understand. I understand. But you know what you're going to have to do is just let that go. I can't profit. Well, I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> if you came to me for the advice, I gave it to you. You know, so if you want to keep struggling, you came to somebody because you were struggling or you got you were unsatisfied. So if you could get yourself from out of that place and from being stuck, you would have already done it. The reason why you came to somebody is because you didn't know how to come out. But when they give you the answer, you still don't make a move. Oh, Lord. You still stuck on red. Oh, Lord Jesus. 
Thank you. Uh-oh. I see. I could go right there with relationships, too, because you still still checking that inbox every day and see that they still ain't read your message. Oh, uh, let's go another step further. They read your message, but you sitting there, oh, maybe they busy. Or oh, maybe they, and maybe, they, maybe they, it's three weeks later. Glory to God. And people can only tell you they busy, but so many times. That after a while, pieces of the puzzle start coming together, and you just realize, no, you're just avoiding me. But you know, the problem is, because of what you battle with, you can't let them go. Again, I ain't just talking about relationships. I'm just talking about people. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Let me move on so I can stick to my statement of I don't plan to be before you long. So with this being said, uh, uh, there are many times, like I said, in life that we uh, express uh, a readiness for things. But the question is, are we ready at all for what we desire? Watch this. When we lack focus, motivation, and determination, we can run the risk of missing out on our moment or window of opportunity. When we are not focused at the red light, see that stationary place when God tell you to be still or stand still and know that I am God, you know, and we, we find ourselves being so fidgeted and find ourselves doing everything and being distracted by everything that's going on around us. Guess what? We can miss something. We can miss something. Now watch this. When we are not focused at the red light, we become distracted by other things. It can cause us to miss our turn or experience, watch this, one of the very words that we say we sick and tired of is delay. Lacking focus, motivation, and determination can not only cause us to miss our turn, but also, watch this, affect those, ooh, Jesus, who are following our lead. <laughs> the amazing thing about delaying others is it can cause others to become unhappy. Well, God, I, don't, I ain't never asked you to put me in this position in the first place. I ain't never asked you to tell, give me all this in the first. No, no, no. You was all grand in the presence of the Lord. Oh, God, give me more. Oh, God, pour this out on me. Oh, God, I want a greater anointing. Oh, God, I want this. I want that. Oh, God, I want them, and I want that, and I want this. Oh, Lord, when I said that, it sounded good in the moment. But watch this. You can cause others to become unhappy. Do you not realize, let me finish reading this and then I'll expound. When you stick, when you're, when you're stuck or lack timely movement, it can cause others to fall behind, to get stuck, to stay stuck in what they desire to be free from and cause them to fall behind time. So let me show you something. If I'm at the red light and I'm behind you, and let's say it's a line behind me. There's cars over here, so I can't get in the other lane. Your mistake or your lack of movement, Lord have mercy. Look at your neighbor and say, your lack of movement can cause others to get behind. So what happens is now I'm in line. And what happens, woman of God, when I'm in line, and, 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 and the car in front of me that's at the light that got that, that if they don't move, none of us can move. So what happens now? I get upset. I start becoming angry. I start being frustrated with life. I start dealing with things unnecessarily because the answer was in your movement. There are people that will never get free if you don't work your calling. If you don't never do what God called you to do, why do you think at the end of the day, if you ain't did what God called you to do, you will be dealt with? Why? Because of the simple fact that you got to understand that you held other people up because of your selfish desire. 
Well, no, I'm I'm fine just sitting in the pews. I'm fine just, you know, just I speak to people when I see you. Praise the Lord. I, be, be well, Saint. Be well. That sounds wonderful. But you know you're supposed to be doing more. And when you're not doing more, I don't care how much, uh, 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 how busy you become in life, you still stuck at the red light. Still stuck at the red light. Waiting for something to happen. And God said, well, what you waiting on? I'm waiting on you. You ain't make no move. But yet you're looking for me to do everything. No, 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 no. I gave you the green light and you still standing still. Watch this. Uh-oh. I sent the prophets to speak to you. I sent dreams to tell you. And the only thing you want a prophecy for is to somebody to call you out and tell you how wonderful you are and what calling is over your life and how great you are and how grand you are and you ain't even walking in it. I told somebody, you can call me mean if you want to. I told somebody, woman of God, that, that, that I said, I ain't, I ain't telling you no more how great you are. I ain't telling you no more what's in you and what your potential is because you done heard it too many times and you ain't doing nothing. That's a waste. All you want is, is, is just to boost your head. What's the purpose? You ain't doing nothing. So in the midst of this, I got to understand that when I stand still, you may say, well, I ain't called to evangelize. I ain't called to, you know, the pastor or nothing like that. But you're called to serve. Not just in the house of the Lord, but out there. And, the, and oh, Lord Jesus, look to your neighbor. I heard this in the Holy Ghost. And ask your neighbor, say, what is your life serving? What is your example serving the people? When people see you outside of church, what is your life display? Well, oh, watch this. When you with them unsaved friends, what is your life saying to them behind closed doors that it's not saying in church? Ooh, glory. But when we come in church, we know we got to act right. Because you know when we were children, you go acting, acting up if you want to in church. Pop. I get you. You better stop. I'm going to deal with you at home. You already popped me. What you got to beat me at the house for? <laughs> Lord Jesus. Lord, double portion. So, so in the midst of this, Sister April said that like, uh-huh, they know. <laughs> so, so, so I got to understand that when I delay, it's not just about me. It's for everybody that's attached to my destiny and everybody that may be watching me that I don't know is watching me. Sister Brooklyn, there are people that look up to you that, you, that will not tell you to your face. And they, watch this. When you go through, they watch to see your, your response and how you carry yourself. Sister Belinda, they watch to see when tragedy comes, when trouble comes, watch this. When they don't came and cussed you out in your face, they watch it. Because whatever your response is, is what you teach them, this is how you respond. So now, while you are with God, you go and change yourself, they don't. Because all they saw was your reaction. And so now, why do I need to go to church? You ain't no different than me. Why, why do I need to be saved? What's the purpose? You don't act no different than I do. You know, why should I stop going to the club? You dress like you going to the club when you go to church. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, God. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. You know, why, why should I change? And so they become unhappy with life because I'm not in place to teach you how to live better. Because while you think you're living, you're really dead. But when you come in Christ, then you have life and have it more abundantly. But watch this. I ain't just going to lead you to Christ. But I'm also going to show you a more excellent way. Because Jesus ain't here no more. So now I got to walk in his steps and continue his work. I got to be your example. There is to be a statement that says, you know, sometimes you're going to be the only Jesus that people see. Watch this. 
You're the introduction. You're the one to show them how to get there until they can develop and be mature enough to have their own. Thank you, Jesus. Let me move. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. I know it's, it's making us think. Thank you, Lord. That's good. Thank you, Jesus. One thing um, I have noticed is that when a vehicle is not moving um, behind you, um, you notice that there, um, you stop the movement of traffic. And so watch this. If you refuse to make a move, procrastinate and always delaying. If you refuse to move, procrastinate or always delaying. If you are not careful, you will look up. Oh, God, have mercy. Somebody going to catch this in the Holy Ghost. If you're not careful, you will look up and see everybody passing you. Wait a minute, I was at a greater level than them. How they done got past me? How they done, watch this. They just got here. How they got elevated? Oh, Lord. How, how is it that now all of a sudden they're working with prophets so closely and I done been here for three years and ain't nothing happened? Uh oh. Now you need to evaluate not them, not the prophet, but me. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. So, you'll start finding people because guess what? The moment the people behind you see an opportunity to get over, they gonna not, they, now where you were supposed to lead them, they're going to follow somebody else. Uh oh, let me show you something. So, if they were supposed to be following you, but now they see the devil has an opportunity. Because this thing can go both ways. They see the devil has an opportunity. Now God looking at you because whereas you were supposed to lead them into the path of righteousness, now they done went down a path of darkness because you wasn't ready. So either it's going to be that or you're going to cause people to be stuck until you're ready to go. Now everybody delayed because of you. Jesus. This is why we must always be ready because, number one, a lack of readiness can lead to missed blessings. A lack of readiness can also lead to missed breakthroughs. A lack of readiness can also lead to missed, oh Lord, promotions. A lack of readiness, mm, your boss told you to make sure you have these papers on my desk. At uh, such and such time, I get to it when I'm ready. They don't pay me enough. Then all of a sudden, you have missed a promotion that you didn't know about. Because they were testing to see your readiness and your willingness. They think just because they tell me to jump on my ass how high. I ain't no frog. Glory to God. A lack of readiness can lead, oh Lord. To failed visions and dreams. The only reason you see failure is if you allow failure to happen. Because failure is not your portion. Tell somebody failure is not your portion. The last one I have here is a lack of readiness can, can even cause us to miss heaven. Jesus. Therefore, in conclusion, Proverbs chapter 20, verse 4, you don't have to turn there, but you can write it down to read it later if you want. You know what's so unique about this, Brandon, is it says the sluggard does not plow in autumn. Watch this. He will see at harvest and have nothing. And let me go to the Message Bible and show you what it says. A farmer too lazy to plant in the spring has nothing to harvest in the fall. So, in other words, if you don't get ready, get set in the right season, you will not be able to go into the promised land. You will not be able to go higher in the things of God. You will not be able to go to another level, uh-oh, in your finances. 
you will not be able to go into the fulfillment of the successful future that you have hoped for. So it is very important that you understand time and seasons because if you miss your season, you may have missed altogether or you may have to wait until the next cycle or the next round that God says, I'm going to give you another opportunity. That could be 20 years from now. Because one thing about it is God does not change his timing for the sake of your own. God created this world and this world is on a time schedule. It's on a time schedule. So with it being on a time schedule, what you have to understand is once that time is up, that's it. Once he speaks to Christ and say, now go get my people and bring them here. That's it. So if the time is still moving, just because you stop does not mean it stops. So by the time five months down the road come, you were supposed to be successful, almost on your way to being a billionaire. You have delayed the process. You have missed opportunities along the way. You missed an open door where God was, you were supposed to be in a certain place. Oh, Lord, you was being so lazy. The Lord told you to go down to Winn-Dixie. And you ain't know why he told you to go, so you just delayed a little bit. I don't know what I'm going for, so I'm just, I'm going to sit here and chill a little bit. I'm going to finish my little show. And once my show go off, glory to God, oh, back in the day, once my, my soap operas go off, thank you, Jesus, then I'll go on down to Winn-Dixie. Glory to God. But watch this. In your waiting, there was somebody that God might have had to come to the store and say, I want you to go there right now because there's someone I'm about to send there and I need you to put $1,000 in their hand. But because you delayed, they waited and didn't see you and had to move. So, oh Lord, I heard you, Holy Ghost. Now you know what you have caused that person to be confused at the voice of God. Because of the simple fact, they did what he said, but now they're questioning if they heard him. Because you're not where you're supposed to be to receive the blessing you're supposed to get. You know what some people will do? If you ain't there, they'll give it to somebody else. Well, I know you told me to come, so I might well go ahead and just bless somebody. Let me just go and pay for this lady groceries right here. You done missed your blessing, but yet you sitting there in the presence of God talking about, God, I need you to pay these bills. I ain't got the money. But you wasn't in place to get the money he was trying to give you to pay the bills and have a little something extra. Lord, stand to your feet. I'm done. Thank you. I did all right. I did. Okay, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. So we have to just realize that timing is important. Somebody say timing is important. Glory to God. It's, it's important that we move in the right timing. And watch this, not just move in our time, but move in God's time. Glory to God, because one thing about it is God is never going to tell you everything, every detail. He only gives you enough just so you can be able to make the necessary steps to get started. And as you get into a next, the next phase, then when it's necessary, God will tell you the next thing. But the problem is, you standing here, when he told you to move there, and because God, I don't, you ain't said nothing else. You just said start going. I don't understand. Where am I going? What am I about to do? How you want me to do it? He just said move. Because you're still here, you're missing what's there. Well, how am I, how am I gonna start this business? And I ain't got no money. How am I going to start this business and I ain't got no good credit? Oh, Lord. But he said, make a move. He said, it's time to go. But because I'm still at the starting line, it didn't make sense to me yet. And I'm still praying and praying and praying. And God ain't talking to me. Why he ain't talking to you? Because he already told you what to do. And you have ignored his instruction. So there's nothing for me to say to you. 
Well, that's rude. I'm talking to God. He's supposed to talk to me. No, it's not. You're just disobedient. Glory to God. So when I start moving, all of a sudden, what I need that I didn't see starts to appear. Uh Uh-oh. Where this came from? Okay. I keep moving. And as I get closer, uh uh-oh, where did this open door come from? Hmm. Now I come to, watch this. I came to an open door, and now I'm coming to a door that's closed. I might as well turn back now. I might as well just stop, sit down on the sideline, get me some lemonade or some sweet tea or something, you know, and just just chill. You know, and now, oh, watch this. Now I'm at this door. I hear your Holy Ghost, and now I'm frustrated with God because you made me come way this way for nothing. Why would you tell me to do that and you not make provision? The door's supposed to already be open. No, no, no. Maybe God want to show you to your face how a miracle can happen. If everything just makes sense to you, you'll never learn the aspects and facets of God. So sometimes God want to show you his might. He want to show you his strength. He want to show you how wonderful he is as you move along. He'll show you. And then the old folks say, and we'll understand it better by and by. Y'all know that's my phrase right there. Glory to God. If I don't remember no him or nothing else, I'm going to remember that. Thank you, Jesus. When I die one day, they're going to say that at my feet. That was his favorite phrase. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Just don't say him by and by when the morning comes at my funeral. Thank you, Jesus. Don't say nothing old. Thank you, Lord. Just give God praise and worship. Thank you, Jesus, because that's what I did in the earth. I told my mama, I said, if I die before you, she said, but why are you talking about? I say, if I die before you, please make sure nobody's saying going up yonder at my funeral. Please don't let them say nothing funeral related because that is not. If it's a celebration, why are you singing about death? I'm going to be with Jesus. And all this one, that's wonderful. And you know, if that's what you choose, praise God. Ain't nothing wrong with that, but just don't do it at mine. Glory to God, don't get up and, and say your little words, and then you going to sneak in a song. Glory to God, trouble in my way. Don't do it. I will ask God to send the angel to come deal with you. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for your word on today. We thank you for speaking to us, God, and giving us a word that can transform our lives. And let me show you something. If God speaks like this, that means that all hope is not lost, but he's trying to catch you before you lose hope. So, Father, we thank you for speaking to us and giving us our daily bread. Thank you that this bread today is what shall sustain us for the rest of our lives. Thank you, God, for the fuel to kick us in motion. Glory to God. We thank you, Father, for keeping us Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance. We receive it now in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to God. And if you're one of those people that say, well, prophet, I found myself guilty in this word. I just want you to lift your hand. And if you're on, on, online, I just want you to say in the chat, it's me, prophet. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. If you find yourself in this word today, just slip your hand in the air. Glory to God. I want to pray over you right where you are. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I thank you right now for these, your people, for every person that has their hand raised, for every person that has declared that it is me. Father, I declare right now that because of their honesty, I declare that, God, you shall set them up to be able to see the change that they desire. Father, I declare that for the spirit of procrastination, that it will be broken off of their lives. And that, Father, you will cause, thank you, Jesus, you will cause, Lord God, even what is built as a pattern in them to procrastinate, you will break that too. Father, we declare that we are free in our minds that cause us to be delayed that causes us to miss out on the great things in life. We declare that, Father, we will allow our mindsets to be changed and shifted for the better. 
We thank you, Father. Thank you for caring about us so much. And we receive your word today. We receive it and we receive change. We receive the blessings, the promotions, and everything that you have set for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on, give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's get ready on this at this time. Hallelujah for our time of communion. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Do I have any server today? Thank you, Jesus. Y'all always be in place. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23 through 30, it says, For I have received of the Lord that which also, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Come on, somebody give the Lord worship. No hand claps, just worship him. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We bless you, Father. You are so good. Thank you, Lord. It is because of you that we live, move, and have our being. It's because of you that we have life and that life more abundantly. We bless you, Father. We bless you, Father. While you are in worship, if you are in this place and you say, I am not saved, and today is the day that I desire to make the Lord my Savior, I want you to come. If you are here and you say, I was walking with the Lord at one time, and I fell off, but I'm ready to get back on track, I want you to come forth so we can touch and agree with you. If you're watching me online and you say that any one of those things apply to me, I want you to say, I want to be saved or I want to rededicate. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, don't stop your worship. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Give God a praise in this place. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. For those of you that are online, as well as you that are in-house, lift your hands. And I want you right now to repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I confess that I am a sinner in need of a Savior. Deliver me. Save me from my sins. Wash me in your blood. Cleanse me, make me new. I want to be the best that I can be in you for God. In Jesus' name, I believe that you died on the cross and God raised you from the dead. And according to my faith and confession, I am saved. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Glory to God. Come on, give God a great praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Y'all ought to do better than that. Those are lives that are snatched out of the hands of the enemy. Snatched out of hell. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. That's the purpose of his death. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We thank God. We celebrate with the angels. We celebrate with heaven for the lives that have returned to the Lord today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Congratulations to those. 
hallelujah, who have rededicated or gave their life to the Lord. That is awesome. Hallelujah. Welcome to the family of God. Now we can proceed. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 23 through 30. For I have received of the Lord that which I also deliver unto you. But the Lord Jesus, the same night in which um, uh, he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he brake it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. For as often as ye may eat, for often as ye may drink, uh, take this cup, uh, when you have supped, saying, This cup is a New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. Thank you, Lord. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do shew the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. Now we're going to give a moment for everyone in this place to take a moment to just talk to the Lord and repent if you need to repent for anything. Glory to God so that we can examine ourselves and make sure that we are right as we are taking part in this communion today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to serve at this time. Glory to God. And as you get your communion, um, you can go back to your seat and I'll give you further instructions. Glory to God. We can start over here. You can come and receive your communion and take it back to your seat. Thank you, Jesus. And after that section, the middle section, you can follow. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you right now for this opportunity to take part in this symbolic uh, representation of your body and blood. Jesus, we thank you for not giving up on the sacrifice. And Lord, we declare that you, by your stripes, we were healed. So we declare that even through this communion, Lord God, that bodies will be healed, emotions will be healed, minds will be healed, the soul will be made whole. We thank you, Lord God, that you will heal physically, mentally, emotionally. And we thank you, Lord God, that you are setting us on the right course. And we thank you, Lord, that this shall be a reminder to us of the sacrifice that Jesus has made for us. And even as we go through this life, we will even sacrifice for the glory of God in Jesus name. Amen. Come on, somebody give the Lord praise. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for the sacrifice, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I never want to be guilty, hallelujah, of uh, finding myself in a place of 
when I take communion, like back in the day, you know, you just get used to the formality of it and you just know that's what you do on certain Sundays of the month and to the point where you really don't stop to focus on what you're actually doing. It, be just, it just becomes a religious routine. And so this is why I take my time during communion to make sure that we actually think about what we're actually doing and what's the purpose of it so that we do not do it in vain, you know, it, 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 because if you're going to do that, you might well just say you just getting a pre-lunch. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. A little appetizer, glory to God, before you go stuff your bellies. Praise God. But, but when you think about the purpose, hallelujah, in which he died, the fact that he came to save us, hallelujah, so that we can ha have access to the Father, so that we can have life and life more abundantly, so that we can be healed and delivered, hallelujah, and have power over every power of the devil. That is just something to celebrate, hallelujah, the greatness of our God. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's get ready at this time for our tithe and offering. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. For those of you that are giving online, Brother James, turn it, please. For those of you that are giving online, um, you can give. And also those who are giving in-house, if you would like to give by Cash App, you can do so at dollar sign TDCM International. Again, that's dollar sign TDCM International. Um, for those of you that are online, you can also utilize PayPal at paypal.me forward slash TDCMI, or you can go to our website at TerrenceDKruger.com forward slash give, and there you can find the direct link for PayPal, for Cash App, as well as credit and debit card form. Please be sure that if you utilize the direct link for PayPal that is listed on the screen as paypal.me forward slash TDCMI, that you select family and friends um, so that it does not hold up your giving. Glory to God, because that is a headache. We have had people that have had to go through that process of getting in contact with uh, 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 PayPal and having to prove stuff and all that kind of stuff. And also for the credit and debit card form, make sure that you turn off the option for storing your information. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. I'm excited, y'all, about our New Year's Eve celebration. Glory to God. I want you, I want everybody in this place to make sure you go and invite somebody. Invite somebody. Don't just invite one person. Invite, invite your whole household. Invite all the neighbors down the street. We want to pack this place out till there ain't no seats left. There are people coming in the door trying to figure out, dang, I got to turn back and watch it online. <laughs> Glory to God. We want to pack this place out, and we're going to have a good time. We'll have our party favors and all that good stuff. And, you know, come in, and, and, and we're going to have a really good time. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And so we're in the, uh, I can't tell you who's coming just yet because I'm still um, trying to get stuff situated for that. Uh, but we do have a few people already booked, praise the Lord. And um, you'll be hearing more details really, really soon. Um, as I, I've said before last week, you know, we do not have a traditional style um, uh, New Year's celebration um, we can preach all year. I don't want to preach for New Year's. I want to come and celebrate. God been too good to me. Brought me through another year. I want to come and have a party. Praise the Lord. And so we're going to come and have us a good time in here. Thank you, Jesus. We got some more of them. Um, those, uh, what's the thing? The the glow sticks. We still got some of them left. I say, you bring them and give them out. Thank you, Lord. So we're going to have us a good time on that night. Praise the Lord. Thank you, God. Father, we thank you for every person that is given. We thank you that you're now opening the windows of heaven, pouring out blessings that we don't have room enough to receive. Thank you for more than enough. Thank you for the overflow. Thank you that you're now rebuking the devourer for our sake, which means devils, you got to back off of our finances, off of our financial status, our bank and credit union accounts, our credit scores, our possessions, lack, poverty, and debt. You got to go now because the Lord God rebukes you in Jesus' name. Come on 
on it. Praise the Lord for it in advance. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Um, I heard the Lord say um, there's someone here that um, there's something that you're trying to pay off or, 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 or getting ready to try to pay off. And the Lord says get ready because he's going to make the way for that to be done. Thank you, Jesus. He's going to make the way for that to be done. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Glory to God. Somebody just worship the Lord. Give him praise right there. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Ah, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Sister Brooklyn, take a step forward. Glory to God. Um, I know what I saw, and I'm, I'm going to be careful to minister the word in a way that you understand. Um. I'm going to say something, but realize that the first thing that you hear me say is not what you think. I saw in the spirit you packing boxes. I saw you packing boxes. But the Lord said, no. He said, no. He says, even though the season is about to get a little rocky. God says, don't allow what you feel to become rocky. God says, stand on the word that you have. Hold to it. And God says, in due time, I'll show you what to do. Because you're going to have a peace about it. But God says, don't do anything according to, I just feel like this is the right thing. I just feel like I just need to do it. No, God says do what he leads you to do. Do what he leads you to do. God says be careful, okay, of what you hear deceptively in this season. Because some things may sound good, but it's not as good as it appears. Because some things are just a good mask for the truth. So I'll say it like that. And prayerfully you understand what I'm saying. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Sister London, lift your hands. Step out here on the side. The Lord says, tell her, hmm, I'm not done speaking to her and through her. The Lord says, I am doing a work, but I have a certain work on hold. And so the Lord says, at one point, you would receive prophetically more consistently, but it was like a decline or a decrease. But the Lord says, right now, until I have your full attention, he says, I put it on hold. That doesn't mean God's not going to use you. But God's getting ready to teach you some things. He's getting ready to reveal some things to you for you because God says you can't minister to others if there's still brokenness so God wants to repair the brokenness for you I ain't say nobody else for you and when he does that 
it's almost, it's almost like a roaring lion that's going to come out of you the next time God starts to use you to declare. Glory to God. Again, does that mean that God's not going to use you at random? No. Because God still speaks to you. However, there's a time coming where you will see an increase of the capacity in which God speaks. But God says, for that which you were used to, God says, mm, okay. God says, one of the reasons that you don't see it happening like the former seasons is because God says I had to throw out everything that you knew so that I could reteach you. And God says now, he says, I can structure you the proper way so that when you get ready to go forth, God says there will be nothing that the enemy would be able to have over your head to make you question. Glory to God. Glory to God. And God says when you speak, it will be sure. That's the word of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Um, today, I know sometimes I, I do prayer requests, but I'm not led today to do prayer requests, special prayer requests. If you need um, special prayer, log on to prayer this afternoon. This, after, this evening, I'm sorry, at 630 um, and then they, they can do the special prayer request. Sometimes, um, you, I, I, like I was teaching the ministers and training, um, every time is not necessary for you to do prayer requests. And so that was something that was a season that I would do it all the time. Doesn't mean I won't ever do it, but it was, you know, I was doing it every single week. But now sometimes you got to realize that God will shift some things and, and it does not mean that, you know, if you have a prayer request that God won't deal with it. But sometimes I'm not led to do it. Because there are certain seasons and times for certain things. And so one thing I understand, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh, y'all, I can't wait till next year come. We, Lord Jesus, at the closest prophetic service we could probably have is, is December 31st. Glory to, I'm sorry, not December 31st, October 31st. October 31st, because I'm telling you, like, uh, I just really feel that, that yeah, glory to God, because I, I, I feel that, 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 that the gift is starting to turn. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And I'm not going to go into certain dimensions of it because I, I don't want to be here all day. Glory to God, my mind is already getting ready to shift in the gear to figure out what I'm going to eat. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. But I, I, I tell you that um, God, is, God is good. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, Sister Aria, um, is the book finished? Is the book completely finished? Yes. It is? Turn it up, Sister Belinda. I can't hear. Glory to God. Say it again. It's finished. I just haven't. Turn it up some more. Say it again. It is finished. I just haven't published it. Okay. Get to it. Get to it. Because God has a work for you, but God is not going to release it to you until you finish the first. Glory to God. Glory to God. There's more that God has for you. More that he has for you. Come on, God. I'm trying to beat my record today. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> There's more that he has for you. Thank you, Jesus. Brother James, look for um, new ideas um, that God is going to give to you. But I heard the Lord say, I need you to manage better your concepts. Because God says, um, the, it's almost like the Lord is showing me in a vision where I'm walking in. He's allowing me to walk into a room or a conference room. And I see papers scattered all over the place. I see uh, 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 vision boards just sitting around everywhere and different things and trash uh, overflowing out of the trash can. And God says, you have so much that you're trying to do. But God says, I'm going to show you how to organize certain things so that you do not overexert yourself. If you walk into a room like that and you know that this is all your stuff, it can get overwhelming because there's so much going on that it looks like chaos. 
God says, I want to bring some order to the things that you have and to give you timings for certain things. Glory to God. Glory to God. Now, does that mean you're not doing well? No, that's not what God is saying. Hear what God is saying and hear what God is saying. Glory to God. Understand, glory to God, what God is trying to tell you. Because in order for God to give, because sometimes we ask God for more of something, but God got to teach us how to manage what we already have so we can make room for more. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Let's give God another praise. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, before we leave, I do want to give an opportunity. If you have a praise report or testimony, we want to invite you to come at this time and share it um, with us on today. Hallelujah. I would just like to thank those of you that blessed me about two weeks ago. Um, that really did help me out a lot more than just with lunch. And um, I just pray that it be um, sent back to you. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to God. That's what you call overflow. Thank you, Jesus. Overflow. Thank you, Lord. I heard the Lord. Oh, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I heard the Lord say to tell you don't worry about the finances. He say, I'll make it work for you. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Glory to God. And that's not nothing to do with that. What you just testified about is what he's about to do. Glory to God. Because that was a concern. And the Lord says, I heard your cry. Glory to God. But I'm going to show you. Oh, I can't say it. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Don't call me later because I'm going to forget. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. But just know, whatever God has for you, whatever he's going to do, whatever he's trying to say, he'll, you understand. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Bless your name, Father. Bless your name, Father. Tell Brother Shemar, God says, I'm waiting on him. That's it. Thank you, Jesus. Now, can we leave God? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you so much for this day. We thank you for everything that we have experienced today. We thank you for your presence. Thank you for your word. And Father, as we get ready to go our separate ways, we declare there shall be no hurt, harm, or danger, no incidents or accidents, no injuries or mechanical failures, no death or death reports, but we declare that all is well in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have a prosperous week.